typical Monday, um, come in, um, get screened by the physios, um, we just make sure that all our injury stuff sort of going okay. Um, how we sort of pulled up from last week. Um, today is more just to check in and sort of look at what the week's um, looking like ahead. Um, so the physios give us a pretty detailed plan of, of what our week's gonna look like and um, so we know what we're gonna do every day. But um, yeah, we come in, as I said, get screened, uh, make sure we're, we're all okay to, to do our session today and um, get a bit of treatment as well, a bit of hands-on. And then, uh, yeah, we've just been in the gym doing a bit of preparation stuff just to get the, um, the muscles activated. Uh, lower leg stuff, a bit of glute activation, um, just to make sure we're right. To, obviously, walking doesn't involve too much, but um, yeah, after this, we're gonna go inside and do a cross-training session, and then we'll have some weights later on and um, some more re rehab stuff. Initially, when you do an injury like that, I guess, I mean, it was probably more pain, and um, you're probably just frustrated with the fact that, um, that you're injured and you can't Obviously, yeah, you've got a pretty good idea that your season um, is going to be seriously affected. So, I mean, that's, that's never a good feeling. I was sort of, couldn't do much for the first 10 days. Um, I was sort of pretty much confined to, to home. I was um, in a boot, um, so I couldn't obviously walk around or, or do too much. I was pretty much going from the couch um, to bed pretty much most days. But once that 10 day period was over, I was back to the club and um, pretty much into light rehab stuff, I mean, I was, as I said, I was still confined to the boot, but I could probably do a little bit of, a uh, little bit of activation stuff, again, just to make sure my, my quads and my, my glute and the muscles around your leg aren't, aren't totally switching off. I've had a few knee issues over the last couple of years, but they've probably only set me back for maybe five to six weeks at the most. Um, I think in 2015, I had a, a knee injury that sort of cut my season short, but um, yeah, I've been pretty lucky in terms of injury. Um, been reasonably durable, but uh, yeah, obviously injuries like this are pretty hard to prevent and um, yeah, it's an unfortunate part of the game. This is my first sort of real week of actually walking on my legs sort of unassisted. Um, there's no doubt, I mean, you're, you're going to lose an, a bit of uh, fitness naturally and, and running. So, I mean, that's, that's a challenge um, for guys in rehab to make sure that uh, when you can start increasing your running load that you obviously got to get back to, back to where you were. And, um, yeah, for me that's going to be a challenge, but uh, you know we're, I'm confident that uh, you know the conditioning staff here at the club and, and the medical staff have, have got a good handle on that and know exactly what it takes to, to get back to the level. And I'm confident that um, you know they can get back to back back to where I need to be. Oh, we've sort of broken up into about four week blocks um, in terms of what it looks like. So um, I'm probably in that second phase now. This uh, yesterday was five weeks um, since post surgery. So um, you know this next three or four weeks obviously start to um, increase the load in terms of, yeah, start doing more walking. Um, yeah, it's all about just building that load. Um, it's a fine line between doing too much and, and not doing enough. So as I said, yeah, the, the yeah, physios have got that all under control in terms of what your loads look like. So for me, it's just um, you know, doing everything I can um, to make sure I'm looking after my body and, and giving myself the best chance. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's, it, it's, it's exciting. I mean, I can start to do a bit more and um, obviously looking to, to just keep build on, on uh, what I've already done.